There have been a lot of developments happening on account of the pandemic that we're facing. And in this regard, there were a lot of directives, requests, and instructions from various quarters because of which we felt the need to apprise the general public through you, both electronic and print media, so that our people at large are taken care of, their interests are guarded, and the advisories that have been issued from the government, from various health agencies, from WHO, from the National Health Mission, and the administration of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, vis-a-vis -vis the health sector. In this regard, I hope and I pray to God Almighty that the way the doctors, the paramedical staff, the nursing officials, the supportive services, biomedical engineering, engineering wing itself, information technology engineering related, and all other services who are in the forefront for fighting this epidemic. I salute you all. I salute them all. Because the way we are fighting, you are doing far better by conveying this information to the remotest possible people, to individual persons, to the society in general, and to the nation in general. As you know, public health emergency of international concern, this pandemic, because of the coronavirus officially designated as COVID-19, it has created havoc in China and is surging across the world with all its disastrous consequences on human life, economy, education, public health infrastructures, and everything else in rampage. All of us know it, that it has been declared as pandemic by World Health Organization. There are advisories, advisories round the clock and the updates on this pandemic around the clock, not only from WHO, but from all other nations who are affected because of this. People traveling from abroad should self-quarantine themselves at home or in a hotel in case of tourists for two weeks and report to the hospital only in case of symptoms like fever, cough, shortness of breath, or coriza like symptoms. Public is hereby requested to avoid, delay, or postpone routine visits to the hospital for minor ailments. Because, 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 as you understand, the hospitals all over the world shall be the hotbed for this infection and the propensity for a person getting infected in the hospital stands very high. Public is hereby requested that those patients who have chronic diseases like kidney failures, they have immune compromised states because of the treatment for cancer or any other ailments, those who have chronic liver disorders, 
complications of diabetes, hypertension, etc. should minimize the visits to the routine OPDs unless it is very, very essential. People attending the OPDs for various unavoidable reasons should be accompanied by only one attendant. Any patient suspected of having illness like coronavirus infection should seek the medical attention in consultation with the nodal agencies designated by the government for this purpose. I urge people to observe social distancing, frequent hand washing, observing coughing and sneezing etiquettes, self-declaration to the nodal agencies and hospital staff, hospital quarantine facilities, home quarantine and home surveillance. Avoid or postpone social or religious gatherings, unnecessary visits to the crowded places, markets, eateries. Avoid public transport, avoid cash marketing, instead use electronic mode of transactions, avoid sharing mobiles and the household items that may be contaminated or maybe the source of cross infection. Only the infected and the suspect patients or the persons and the people who are the healthcare workers need to wear the masks. Institute has created a facility for COVID-19 infection clinic exclusively for these people, for the ones who are suspected of having coronavirus infection. Institute has created an isolation ward for these suspected patients and a facility for hospital quarantine for the people who need to be observed or kept under supervision. Government of Union Territory of Jummu and Kashmir has advised procurement of essential items and enhancement of the infrastructure for coping up with this epidemic on war footing basis and given the financial concurrence for the same. And we have issued formal orders for procurement of <clears throat> all this equipment, materials and the supplies. So far, we have tested 41 samples, 40 of them have been negative. There has not been any positive case reported from the valley till date. There is no need to panic, there is no need to be scared about. We must follow the guidelines and the advisories that are issued from time to time through press, through media, through social websites, through interactions. Let's be safe, let's be wise, and let's ensure that we help others to live as we live. Our helpline number is 240-3679. 240-3679. We have a control room dedicated to tackle any emergency situation where our doctors are around the clock 24 into 7 otherwise also but a separate line has been dedicated for COVID-19 infection information let's fight this war against corona viral infection together the entire world is fighting for it and in this so-called world war against coronavirus. We shall be victorious, provided we coordinate, we cooperate, we help each other, and we observe the principles and the advisories issued from time to time.